Joseph. Oh, Joseph. Well, his piece is called Tears, and he won first place for inspirational personal experience. My name is Joe Boyer. I served in the Marine Corps in Korea 13 months, 52 or 53. I went over to Korea with 6,000 young men. I came back 13 months later with 750 tired old men. We had to come home with the scars. Some are outside, you can see them. Others are inside, you can't see them. My article today is about the inside scars. It's called Tears. I like to talk about something that people possess, all people. However, some people lose the ability to make that from time to time. I speak of tears. It's such a beautiful, simple word that shows love, compassion, remembrance, and yes, sometimes pain. My first tear came the day I was born. I imagine I was lying in my mother's arms. Maybe I was looking up at my dad or the doctor who delivered me. When something went wrong while playing when I was young, I hurt myself maybe, and I cried. There were tears. Then when my teen years, with all my old other buddies, we kept the tears inside mostly. I guess that is when you start saving them for later in life. The tears would appear on other faces as I graduated from high school, entered the military, and at my wedding with my beautiful wife. While I was at war, I knew my mother must have shed many tears while I was away. My family told me that when I was wounded, Mom received a tele telegram from the War Department. She wouldn't open it. She had to lay in a cupboard for four days before she opened it. When she finally opened it, she cried. She saw I was only wounded and she cried with tears of joy. In Korea, I watched young boys fight and die. Although the tears didn't come out, I know they were there inside me. I sometimes saw South Korean people, men, women, children, even old people walking among the wounded and the dead on a battlefield. They would carry the bodies, each carrying an arm or a leg. They would take the bodies down a mountain to the aid station. I would see those same people going through garbage cans looking for something to eat. Seeing this, I pictured my family in the same position, and I felt the tears well up in my eyes. After a while, I, I lost the urge to cry. Maybe God gave me only a certain amount of tears, and I, I used them all up. I came home from Korea. I had the same body I went in with, but something was different. I had a mind full of the hell I lived through. Something inside of me was different and was tearing me apart. As the years went by, I lost my grandmother, my father, and younger brother. Then I lost one of my daughters. God knows I wanted to cry, but I couldn't. I begged for one tear to fall, but none came. Then a few years ago, I was at the VA hospital for a regular appointment. As I sat in a crowded waiting room, an African-American veteran came in in a wheelchair. He was wearing a Marine hat and I covered with a blanket. I went over to talk to him, and he looked like he was my age. I asked him if he was in Korea, and he said he was. I was then called into my appointment. When I came out, I saw my friend. I wanted to say goodbye. He was my new comrade. The blanket was off, and I saw that he was missing an arm and a leg. I began to feel a little funny and sad because I had all my limbs. As I was leading him, he grabbed my hand and said to me, Thank God you came home in one piece. I knelt down beside him, and I pictured myself in that wheelchair. It was there, and then, that I filled with tears, I started to cry. He did also, along with most of the people in the waiting room. It took a long time, but maybe it was written in heaven this way. I finally found out how beautiful it was to once again cry. I found out that you should not be ashamed to shed a tear. When you do, it means you are human and have human feelings.
feelings towards others. It is hard for me to tell you how it feels not to be able to cry. For someone who is going through an agonizing time of not being able to shed tears, don't give up. It took a long time for me to find that special key to evolve that held my tears. Once I was able to cry, my life began to be what I wanted it to be. As I said earlier, tears mean love, caring, and compassion. These things we should all share. God, is, God gave us the gift of tears. Thank you.